of art, and I'm sure you're all curious as to why this place, which is usually just all in red, now is suddenly so blue and chilly. Well, Christmas is coming, but it's not just that. Something just as fun and exciting is happening. Design back in June. Uh, we launched it during Computex. Uh, we were able to uh, plug in a desktop class GeForce GTX uh, 1060, GTX 1070, and 1080 into a thin and light laptop design. Uh, it could reach about 18 millimeters. And at the same time, it is quiet and cool at the same time. So we were able to pack everything in a Max Q design laptop. Okay. So the dilemma is really power, right? We cannot pack a desktop class uh, GPU and incorporating it with uh, low power. So giving you a thin and light laptop. So what we did is we worked with the concept of Max-Q. So Max-Q in the aerospace industry 
is the highest stress point of aerodynamics. Uh, and we work with that, right? Uh, we want to incorporate the highest stress that a laptop can endure. So we use the peak performance, giving you high performance GPUs uh, in a thin and light uh, form factor. So what we did is we worked with our uh, partners such as Acer to give you a powerful GPU at peak efficiencies uh, using a GeForce GTX 1060, 1070, and 1080 uh, with our software, the GeForce Experience, optimizing all the settings and with the advanced thermal solutions, making it quieter and cooler at the same time, very power efficient. Okay? So we packed it into a thin and light gaming laptop. So currently with a max, uh, max Q design, uh, you can see it is thin at 18 millimeters thin, only weighing 2.2 kg as compared to the 4.5 kg on current laptops. It gives you about three times performance and it could run on a desktop class GTX 1080. So that what is what Max-Q design uh, laptops can offer to you. So for the whole powerhouse, I know software is very important and the application is important. So the latest games, as you can see here, uh, Max-Q with GTX 1080 gives you better game performance. Uh, you can see here at the latest uh, games that the Division, Crisis 3, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and so on. You can see it, how it compares to 4K with a GTX 1060 uh, laptop. Okay. So max Q design, uh, it gives you better performance as well. So we don't really need any noise cancellation when we play our games, right? We don't use the headphones. Uh, with NVIDIA Whisper Mode, uh, we give you quite an efficient gameplay. Okay? So the thin and light notebook with good uh, gaming performance is also quiet and cool. Okay? So what MaxQ brings to the table is it provides you a thin and light uh, form factor. Uh, you can pack it into your backpack. It is fast, giving you desktop, desktop class GPUs from GeForce, GDX 1060, 1070, and 1080. Uh, you can use it at the highest resolution of 4K, together with GeForce Experience to automate your uh, game optimal game settings, and with great acoustics, so it gives you uh, quiet uh, laptop, it's not noisy because of the fans and the sticks. It gives you a cooler and it is very uh, energy efficient. So with that, uh, I'd like to uh, congratulate uh, Acer Predator on their launch of their uh, Triton series. So with max Q design. So with that, I'd like to thank you and have a good day. place and I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of guesswork going on already as to what Predator is about to reveal today. So without further ado, everyone please sit back and watch the frost-forged power of Predator gaming come to life.
because to be honest, I got here this morning and all I could think to myself was, hmm, I know what I'm hosting today, but then when I finally saw the setup of everything, I was like, this is absolutely amazing. I mean, number one, High Grounds Cafe, you have like a sick setup here. How many of you guys come here every now and then just to play? Yeah? Yeah, I, I see a few hands up there. That's cool, that's cool. And obviously I'm assuming that 99.9% .9 of people here are gamers, right? League of Legends, yeah? Okay. Dungeons and Dragons, anyone? That's not necessarily laptops, but uh, it's not PC gaming, but yeah, Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I found my community. I found my home. I've been lost for a while, guys, so obviously I honestly think that this is something that was meant to happen today. So thank you. Thank you so much. And I don't really know that much yet about PC gaming, so it'd be really cool if uh, some of you could help me out later, because I definitely think I want to play a game or two. I've got a lot. Yeah. All right. So do we have it ready already? Okay, cool. So while we're at it, I think it's really nice to just look around. We're, we're waiting for the Predator Triton 700, but I noticed that a lot of us here, okay, I'm just gonna pick someone. I'm just gonna pick, I'm just gonna pick anyone that I see. Hi ma'am, are you a gamer by any chance? Uh, which sports in uh, blue and black 
uh, color schemes that we already uh, feature with the Trident 700. So basically, when we came up with the idea of the Trident 700, um, we made sure to take through the best. So the 21X for us is the best so far. And to follow it up, of course, we had to make sure um, that the uh, Trident 700 takes its cues largely for the 21X, including extreme performance and, of course, um, great cooling um, because of the performance that every gamer basically um, uh, requires. So first, um, I want to talk about uh, the cutting edge design or the design uh, story for the Trident 700. So, like I mentioned earlier, you made sure uh, to take largely from the 21X. So you will see a lot of design cues from the 21X with the Trident 700, including, of course, the um, angular edges, um, as well as the uh, color, uh, aqua and black, which is very, very exciting. For me, it's actually one of my most favorite um, uh, color schemes today. So it's more refined. Uh, you'll notice that it's more refined uh, versus the old uh, design that we have for for the Predator devices. So it's actually something very unique with the, the Trident 700. And it's actually, it can actually pass as a work laptop, right? So um, another thing that we're really excited about with the Trident 700 is that, if you can see, later on you can um, approach the uh, Trident 700 here and see for yourself that it has a really button aluminum chassis. So, um, if you can notice, if you um, look around it, it's really just one continuous slab. It's almost as if it's cut from one solid slab of aluminum. So we didn't need any um, flimsy plastic bottom uh, lids that would open when you open the lid, stuff like that. So um, that's also because um, we didn't need uh, to uh, work hard on the building because that's something that we're really, really proud of. Um, uh, basically doing. So in a moment, we'll be discussing more about how we made sure that the uh, Trident 700 is really, really stands up to its cross-porch um, moniker. So the next one that I want to talk about is, of course, um, we, are, we already have the looks. I've seen a very um, sleek and very uh, good looking scene, Predator Trident 700. But, but we have to make, to make sure um, that uh, we uh, have the looks and the performance to come with it. So, formerly, um, we have gaming uh, notebooks that have, say, GTX 1070 or GTX 1080, which usually um, went from uh, something between uh, 1.5 to 1.7 to 2 inches thick. So, with the Trident 700, we managed to stick all of that performance in something as thin as a, actually, even thinner than one Nesco coin, which is uh, three quarters of a quarter inch. Um, so that's, of course, possible with uh, uh, Sir Jerome of NVIDIA mentioned earlier, with uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX with max Q design uh, that we came up with, uh, that we used for the Trident 700. And then another thing that really, uh, personally, I'm excited about this um, is that we made sure that the experience of our gamers when they touch or when they hold the Trident 700 is going to be unique, um, in the sense that it's not going to be the usual um, well, I won't say boring, but uh, it's just common um, laptop design. So if you look at the Trident 700, you'll see that, of course, at the top of the keyboard, there is a glass plate that you can peer into. It's basically a corning corning glass plate um, that also doubles as the Trident's uh, precision touch pad. So you can see the parang may guides on her right side. It's a huge uh, track pad that you can also uh, customize as per your windows uh, Precision touch pad drivers, and also you can see um, into the the, the glass uh, window and see all the heat pipes and the fan that um, the Trident is using. So aside from from the touch pad, of course, you have to make sure that the keyboards are also uh, the keyboard is also um, very ideal. So for this one, um, this is one of my favorite details about the Trident 700. It actually has um, a low profile. Uh, mechanical keys. So if you actually let me show you this. So it's really very compact. It still um, feels the same travel as a, a regular laptop, but except it's mechanical. It's clicky. It's good to use. It's it's, it's very fun to use. It's really just good. Um, and then of course for that keyboard, we also made sure that we use a full size 
um, keyboard for the Trident 700. So it includes also a full uh, physical long pad. No more need for uh, uh, touchpad uh, long pad for this one. So of course, the next uh, part that I'm going to talk about is of course the performance. Um, so with this thin package, we were able to fit, of course, all of the best components that has uh, that we have to offer in the market. So of course, that includes uh, an Intel Core i7 processor, uh, and of course the GTX 1080 Max Q design. That's of course the ready and also something that you really um, won't need anything else for this kind of laptop. We also fitted 32 gigabytes of memory inside the Trident 700 and two 512 gigabytes SSD in RAID 0 configuration. So these are all the best components that we can uh, fit into the compact uh, frame of the Trident 700. And of course, uh, those that performance has to translate to how um, the, the gamers or the users of the Trident 700 see um, the, the their visuals. So we also fitted the uh, try it with the 120 hertz IPS panel, which is really, um, you can really see the difference, especially if you're uh, playing high speed games like uh, racing games or uh, Overwatch or PUBG, I guess, if you're into that, of course. Um, and it's really good. Uh, it's an IPS panel, so um, it has a wide viewing angle, colors are also good. And then, of course, uh, we go on to the next one. So, why? We, do we uh, call the Trident a Frost Forge device. So this is something that we're really proud of. With something as um, as unique and as uh, powerful as the Trident 700, we had to make sure that the full capacity of the laptop is up to snuff. So um, of course we used the du uh, dual Airwing 3D fans, one of which you can see through the uh, precision uh, touchpad glass window, and five heat pipes to cool both the GPU and the CPU. So, um, you'll see later on, I, I have a video here um, to, s to show you basically what the Airbnb team is uh, about. The evolution of Aeroblade started here with a plastic fan and innovation. We replaced plastic with metal and reduced blade thickness to increase airflow. Improving on the design, we removed the cage, making it possible to add even more blades. We then altered the structure of the blades and strengthened them with Aeroblade 3D technology. The results spoke for themselves with a 25% increase. However, the goal of reaching a peak of performance called for more, the addition of an axial fan. We combined the pole and desktop fan design with a blower style fan, allowing for the greatest jump in airflow yet, an astounding 35%. as well as a few more devices that will be um, uh, available in the market in the near future. So for the Predator Trident 700, um, locally we'll be uh, bringing it in in two models. So the first model that we will be introducing is uh, uh, the, uh, basically the base model of our Trident 700 which will be powered by a GTX 1060. It's not a max Q design, it's just the normal GTX 1060. So it's still a good, um, it's still a good uh, performing uh, graphics card. It also comes with 16 gigabytes of PDR4, 2400 megahertz uh, RAM, and 512 gigabytes of uh, PCIe SSD. And of course, a full HDI IPS panel uh, that, is a bit, uh, that has a refresh rate of 16 hertz. Um, the next model that we'll be bringing in, of course, is the top of the line model, which will be powered by the GTX 1080 Max Q design, and will have 32 gigabytes of memory, um, two 512 gigabytes of SSD um, in RAID 0 configuration, and the 120 hertz uh, IPS panel um, that uh, are available here in the trackings that you have uh, in front of you. 
So now I know the next question in your mind is how much will it cost? So for the Trident 700 with the 1060, we're retailing it at 134,999 pesos. So it's really, really very impressive considering how thin it is. Um, and then the next one, of course, for the 1080 Max Q version, we'll be retailing it for a suspension. And 229,999 pesos. So before you react, I still have a few announcements to make. Um, one of which is a video first that I'll be showing you then. So, I don't know. This word. So what you just saw is uh, basically a showcase of the Predator uh, gaming accessory line that will be uh, bringing in the next few months. But of course, um, I'm happy to also introduce that uh, we'll, be, we'll be bringing in a few of the uh, devices that you saw just in the, in the video just now. So first we have the Predator Cestus 500 gaming mouse. So this one um, is, has an adjustable click sensitivity for both the left and right mouse click buttons. Um, it has swappable grips. We actually have a model here that you can uh, check out. Um, and it's an ambidextrous mouse, so uh, no problem for lefties and righties alike. 16.8 um, million color RGB lighting, so it's customizable via the Predator Sense app and onboard profile storage. So it's pretty um, uh, usual for a gaming mouse, except that uh, we have uh, adjustable click sensitivity and a lot more customization options once you hook it up with the Predator Sense app. And it will retail here in the Philippines at around 3,500 uh, pesos. The next one is the Predator Galia 500 gaming headset. So this one is a more um, special uh, device and it's actually one of my favorite devices that I saw in IFA back in uh, uh, the start of this month. So it has 7.1 channel surround sound and it has True Harmony 3D soundscape technology from uh, uh, Predator itself. So this is basically our proprietary um, software that allows for customizable um, positional audio. And not only that, um, it also has active positional audio. So what it means is when you wear uh, the, the Galia gaming headset, it actually can turn the sounds depending on where you're facing. So it's very ideal for for VR applications and MR applications. But it's also something you can use for gaming, for regular gaming, because it sort of enhances the, the uh, dimension of your gaming. And of course, it has a very sharp microphone for all of the trash talking that, for example, Jan and Cheta does. <laughs> so um, this one will retail for 15,000 pesos. It's quite expensive, but it's worth it, worth every buck. So, now, just to announce also that we'll be um, conducting pre-orders for both the Trident 700 models uh, that are available. So just to recap, we have the GTX 1060 Trident, uh, which will retail at around 135,000 pesos, and the GTX, uh, I'm sorry, yeah. So it actually comes, when you pre-order during the period, uh, it comes with a free 
credit assessed as 500 gaming mouse and 3,000 pesos worth of Steam credits. So you can already get your gaming uh, gaming started once you get the Trident 700. The next model, of course, the 1080, um, will be, it will be retailing at 230,000 pesos. It also comes with, of course, a Predator Census 500 gaming mouse and a Predator Galea 500 gaming headset and 5,000 pesos of Steam credits. So it's much more uh, compelling to really go for, the, go for a goal, basically, with the Trident 700. So again, the order starts today. Um, you can go to the participating retailers to check how you can avail of the pre-order program. And um, it's basically, um, you just have to go there and ask how much you have to deposit and everything. Um, and then it will be coming to you uh, within 30 to 45 working days. So yeah, that's basically it for me. Um, and I hope you like the presentation. And feel free, please, to approach the Drive 700 devices in front of you. And one last thing, the best is yet to come. Thank you. presentation. I'm sure just like myself, I'm so curious as to if this is going to be the laptop used in Ready Player One. You know, so we don't know. We don't know yet. We don't know. But I would actually like to open up the stage right now and invite both our strapping young gentlemen back on stage. Uh, GB, Aquino of Predator Philippines, and can I also have again on stage Mr. Jerome of NVIDIA Philippines. Please join me on stage and uh, a round of applause for these guys again. Okay, so we're basically just going to be asking about the Predator line in general. I'm sure a lot of them have questions um, about this new Trident 700 that's been presented. And, you know, a lot of them are also thinking, am I going to have to sell one of my kidneys for one of these? So let's just get to it. I know that we have a question from Manila Mash from Drew Uy. Drew, if you're here, thank you. Go ahead. Hi, uh, question. Um, this is for Jerome. You talked about how NVIDIA was incorporated for the Trident 700. Uh, what's next for NVIDIA after the Trident 700 was launched? Um, so we just launched Max Q Design, GeForce GTX Max Q Design laptops back in June. And we will continue to improve on uh, GeForce GTX, whether it be performance on the gaming side, uh, high resolutions, power efficiency, and also uh, quiet pace. So we'll improve on that, but today we'll just focus on max security. Design of laptops, such as the Predator uh, Trident 700. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Drew. Uh, I know we have another question from Rhea Reyes. Hi, Rhea. Hi, Rhea, go ahead. They're giving you a microphone right now. Uh -huh. Hello. Um, this question is for Jamie. Yes. Um, what influenced Predator to create a unit with blue lightning as opposed to the standard red? Okay. So basically, um, when, when we designed the Trident 700, like what I said earlier, we made sure to take cues from the best. And for the for the best, what we have in mind is the 21X. The 21X, when we uh, came up with it, we had the blue and black um, cue, uh, design cue. We really wanted for, for the new Predator gaming lineup to be more um, compelling and more refined and more um, uh, sort of like kind of easy going power in except that it's not really making you feel like it's full state because it has nothing to prove to you because it's already something. Um, it's already uh, compelling enough to just look at it. So with the Trident 700, when we um, designed it, when we took the blue cubes and it, it made us it made the uh, Predator Trident 700 unique. And you can see this across um, the new products that we just recently announced in uh, IFA 2017. So, um, including, of course, the Galea and the Cestos uh, gaming headset and gaming mouse, and the Predator Orion 9000 uh, desktop, which also has the blue and black um, design cues. So, it's basically something that we did so that to make sure that um, we sort of lift up. The, the branding, the Predator Gaming uh, series with the new look uh, that we just introduced. Okay, thank you, JB. And we have one more question from our press from Brand Magazine. Lucky 
Matt Hill? Lucky, are you here? Please raise your hand if you are. Lucky, Matt Hill. Okay, I'm just going to ask in general, raise your hand, do you have a question for either JV or Jerome? Anyone who wants to maybe, okay, the man in green, what's your name? Shout it out. There you go, okay. I think let's give him a microphone. Cool. I um jump from Java Night at PH. So this question is for uh, Julia. <laughs> so uh, you want to clear up you clear to learn your ramya. So there's a 32 weeks of ADR for memory, right? Yes. Is it soldered dun sa memory? No, no, it's actually upgradable. So um, oh. of course if you bring it to our service centers, um, you can have it upgraded. Even even for the base uh, model which has 16 gigabytes. So for this one it's a 32 gigabyte global channel um, DDR4 RAM. And then for the for the uh, channel 700, um, I think I'm not sure, but then I think it's a dual channel 8 gigabyte plus 8 gigabyte, so 16 gigabytes. But you can upgrade uh, when you bring it indoors. Uh,